And would you say, Mr. DeRosha, the best player you ever saw was Willie Mays? You always by far. By, by, now, what the hell made Mays so great? What was it oh, about? God given. Uh, there's only five things you can do to be great. Yes. And that's hit. Hit with power. Yes. Run, field, and throw. That's it. That's God given. Mays uh, had it all. You only had to look at Mays, and uh, he knew if he made a mistake. You never hollered at Mays. You never raised your voice at him. You just look at him and smile and and say, "Come on, Willie." <laughs> you know, you're the greatest player in the country. Sure. How could you make a mistake like that? And his chest is puffed out, and he's and, uh, the best player I ever laid eyes on. He did it all. He carried us on his back one year. Yes. The year we won the pennant, he, in 51, also in 54, he carried us on his back for six, seven weeks all by himself. He was a phenomenal athlete, wasn't he? Oh, could do it all. And what a physique on him. I remember seeing him. Oh. Beautiful build, Mr. Drosia. He was poor, uh, poor fella had a, uh, from his waist up was built like a heavyweight. Yes, he was. And his waistline was 33. He, he looked he looked like a, a bodybuilder. He was well, in. Yeah, you know, where did he ever find one like this? Beautiful, beautiful. First time I saw him, I said to Mr. Stoneham. He sent me down to Birmingham, Alabama, to look at a first baseman. You might remember the name, maybe not, but it'll bring back George Crow. Very well, yes. C-R-O-W-E. And I called Mr. Ricky back. I said, I don't know about Mr. Crow that you sent me down here, but there's a guy down here is playing with no shoes. <laughs> I can play better uh, with his eyes closed than anybody I've ever looked at. And he said, sign him. I said, not me. I don't want to be responsible for losing him. Mm. I said, uh, come down and send Hubble, Carl Hubble, down here with a station wagon full of dollar bills. And he'll think he's getting a million. And uh, that's what he cost us, $10,000. We had to buy his contract, and we gave him a Chevrolet uh, convertible. Yes. Best player I ever saw. And, and look at how many players you would have known. That's quite a statement coming from you. And he plays, uh, the funny part of it, he played all the exhibition games. And played every game in the regular season. Today, they, uh, they play 130. Yes. Out of 162, and they're all getting two and three million dollars and more, and they're not worth eight dollars. I wouldn't have them on the club, and uh, Mays never opened his mouth. No. Nope. And went along about his business, kept raising him. I said, You're going to make a lot in those days. He made good money. Yes. He made a hundred and he made 165000 That was good money then, wasn't it? Oh, in those days. Boy. T today he'd make $5 million. Oh, well, you couldn't have him today because you'd have to make him a partner. Yeah. <laughs> he'd have to own half the club. Yes, he would. He was that good, wasn't he? Yeah, fellows like Mickey Mantle, Hank Aaron, Ted Williams, Stan Musial, players of that caliber... You couldn't sign him today. No, you couldn't. No, there's a, uh, how would you pay him? Uh, you really couldn't. You couldn't pay uh, uh, those fellows, and I'm talking about in their prime. Yes, yes. You couldn't pay him. 